Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. The search for a missing woman in Macomb County takes a grim turn. Investigators believe they have found Samantha Ginther's body in a storm drain. Uh, right now, firefighters and police are still collecting evidence. And a large tent has also been put up to create some privacy. Let's get right over to Sean, where uh, the scene is still pretty active there, Sean. Extremely active as we gather information about what we're looking at here and sources what they are telling us right down the street. Scene number one, one of the homes right down towards the end of the street. That's where 47 year old Samantha Ginther was last seen, but last seen guys since June. Let me show you a picture of Miss Ginther. Neighbors telling us she's a mom, lived here for a bit, was last seen in June, but police rather kept her disappearance or missing case rather quiet because they were keeping an eye on her residence who was coming and going. They were doing a massive investigation. They did put out that she was missing, uh, alerted the public last month. But here's the deal. Police went in there today, either for a welfare check of someone who was there or they served a search warrant in there. There was two people inside. We're told one of those per persons or both led them right down here to this street. This is scene number two. There's a drain behind that black tarp and that's where a body was found. Body of a woman was found. That happened this morning. But what you're seeing here is Sterling Heights fire. It took them all day long to get the body out of that drain, believed to be 47 year old Samantha Ginther. Two people taken into custody. I am told one of those persons by sources is currently under arrest. Someone who had a very close relationship with her. So that's, that's what police are putting everything together. Very upsetting scene for neighbors here because they said they saw Samantha in June, hadn't seen her since. And now all of this unfolding here today. The woman who lives in the house right here, uh, we just spoke to her saying that knowing that perhaps this body was there for weeks, it's really upsetting to her. Even police coming and going, uh, also very upset. Very upsetting situation. The police continue to investigate. One in custody, two have been uh, detained. One person has officially been arrested. We'll be here. We'll have much more coming up at six, talking to neighbors and what sources continue to tell us as they piece all of this together. But guys, really disturbing scene. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Okay, Sean, we appreciate it.